Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Honkai Star Rail. It's uh, it's five o'clock in the morning, uh, but I, I'm just, yeah, really, really, really excited to crack on with this story because I feel like something big's about to happen at this orphanage. But before we do that, before we head up, please, uh, before we head up the stairs, we've got some things to do. Now I have spent most of my uh, Trailblazer energy today. Um, I think it overlapped with the refresh, so... We're just going to quickly check. Oh, we've got some more messages as well. What random crap are we going to get to see today? So I've logged into the game. I've, yeah, I've got my dailies there. Perfect. Boom. Let's grab our 60 Jade and so much Trailblaze XP. Now, there have, there has been some confusion in the comments. Um, I can't, I can't do the Equilibrium level yet. It's completely locked behind a uh, story quest, so... That's why I uh, I think today we are going to focus on the story. Maybe squeeze in a simulated universe at the end of this video. Because uh, I have a bit more time today. Hopefully it should be a longer episode. Uh, Nameless Honor. Let's have a look. So I am level 11 currently. And let's see. Will I be able to... Uh, so I you see, I am using my Trailblaze power. I've consumed 500. And that's 300 XP. That should get us level 12. Okay. And what are we going to get for that? Ooh, more um, light cone upgrade materials. Condensed ether. Aether. <laughs> One of the aether. Right. Messages. Let's have a look. We've got one from Herta. Um, who I have actually been using in the Calyxes. She's very good. She just decimates everything. Uh, this account is disabled. Disabled business contact Asta. Curious information self report form. Fill in this ASAP. Pan Panopticon system safety alert. The system has detected unusual sign in activity of the user. Be sure to protect your personal information and do not transfer money to them. <laughs> the link is blocked. Um, I don't think I could. It's a shame I can't click that link. Are you really hurter? System safety alert. The system has blocked the link for you. Please stay vigilant and verify the user's true identity before taking any action. Well, that's what I just did. Are you really Herta? I don't believe you. Do I have to send you a selfie to prove that I am Herta? Ugh, the system's interception is always triggered at the wrong time. Never mind, it's just some of your personal information anyway. Oh yeah, not important at all. I'll ask Himiko to fill it out for you. Um, give me back my personal information. Oh, I'm mad. What are you panicking about? I have no use for it. Automatic reply. Oh, I didn't even get to read it. We got the jade. Currently unavailable. I won't be and I won't be contacting you later. I love that. I should have when I when I worked in the office. I should have had that as my uh, automatic email response. March has sent us a message. Have a look. Have a look at what. Have a have a look at what, March? There's nothing there. Did you forget to send the attachment? Because I've done that before. A few times. Um, it looks nice. She she knows I'm bullshitting. Uh, the photo is not sent yet. There we go. I took this picture of the coach. What do you think? Do you have any suggestions? Uh, the aperture should be low. I am not a photographer. I have no fucking clue. Um, there is nothing to nitpick with this one. That seems a bit... See, that's that's too nitpicky. That is too kiss arsey. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna kiss her ass. Not literally. What a coincidence. I think so too. If there's anything to criticise, it'll be... Not having me in the picture. It's nice to... I, I, I wish I was that self-confident. Um, I hate being in pictures. Uh, you're it. What? Mage, my official photographer. Oh, you really... I, I, I don't know anything. I don't know about exposure, aperture. I, isn't that... Don't they do, like, science experiments with portals? Right. Well, that was fun. We got some more jade. I don't know how much we actually have right now. Uh, oh, not quite enough for another pass, but that's alright. Speaking of passes, we actually have like 12 regular passes. 
So, I think it's time for another pull. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep saving my special ones for now. And I have done a few of the character trials. I do know that I can do them on the regular banner as well. But I, again, I, I know I can get rewards for doing it. But I don't want to spoil certain characters by doing their trials first. I just don't want to do that. So, uh, let's... Yeah, I think we'll do a 10, a 10 pull on this one. In fact, we could do all of them, really. But uh, let's see what we get. Ooh. I like it because these don't happen very often. It makes them more special and more exciting. Although more nerve-wracking, because what if we don't get anything? Okay, it's pink, right? Collapsing sky. And we're getting more embers, which leads to more passes anyway. Okay. Okay, light cones, light cones, light cones. Light cones. Please be something good. Please, not just don't be just three star light cones. Please. Ooh. Ooh, who are you? What on earth is that that you're sitting on? Or in front of what is that? Um Ju Ju I how do you say her name? Please tell me how to pronounce her name. She's a destruction character. And she's, uh, of the other element that we- I don't think we- I don't think we have yet. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Another character. Now, many people, again, have conflicting opinions on how I should level up characters. I should- some people say I should stick to just the ones that I want to use. Some are saying, no, you can level them up fine, you'll get enough materials past, you know, up until a certain point anyway. Um, I don't know what the character's like. I don't know which ones I want to use. I want to try them all, so I'm going to be leveling up pretty much every one I find to some degree, just to test them out properly. Um, but of course, we could do the character trial as well now, uh, which I might actually do if they're on the list. Um, so I've done Himiko, I've done Welt, because we've seen those before. Um, we've got Bi- 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 Lu. I've done that. I've done that one. Oh, it's not actually on the list. Oh, so Clara's a character that we can get. Oh, well, thank you for t for posting all your team names. I mean, a lot of them I don't know, but it was cool. Right, um, yeah, I really want Bronya. I really want Bronya. She's awesome. I like her. Yeah, okay, I can't do her trial. I guess we'll just, uh, have to test them out. Characters and I'm gonna change my party actually because I think I do need a healer So I'm gonna I'm gonna put Natasha back on my team for this upcoming story bit But let's have a look at Our new friend here Who is uh, Yeah destruction uh, what element is that again? Quantum quantum so that that applies entanglement. In custody. Delaying the uh, the enemy's action and dealing additional quantum damage. Okay. Don't know what your abilities are going to be. Uh. Ultimate deals quantum In damage custody. equal to one hundred and fifty percent to a single next? target. The attack ignores weakness types and reduces enemy's toughness. Oh, that's cool. When enemy's weakness is broken, the quantum weakness break effect is triggered. Uh, in this attack, the more toughness is reduced, the higher the damage will be. Ooh. I love how every character has a different mechanic so far. Who's next? Uh, when it reduces enemy's toughness with attacks, karma will be stacked. The more toughness is reduced, the more stacks of karma. Uh, up to eight. Uh, when allies reduce enemy toughness with attacks, gains karma. When karma reaches max number of stacks, consumes all current karma Let's stacks, and immediately launches a follow-up attack. Ooh, another follow-up attacker. Hmm. I'm actually not sure if I want to put Natasha in or March, because March does the follow-up attacks as well. That could be nice. But I do like Natasha as well. I So many different bloody combinations. Uh... Okay. Yeah, she she looks interesting. We we will test her out later, not right now. Uh, don't even know what light cone to give her because she is destruction. I think I I could probably yeah I can superimpose my one up to five now as well, can't I? 
Uh, I'm pretty sure I can. I could also ascend it, but... We'll just superimpose for now. Let's superimpose. Boom. Nice. So that's just made me stronger. And... Yeah, I think that'll do for now. So I'm gonna quickly change my party. We're gonna- we're probably gonna swap Tingyun out, because while I do like her buffs, I don't really want to get rid of Welt or Dan. So, I'm afraid Tingyun is gonna have to sit this one out. Uh, so do I have a- There's Natasha. I mean, I could- I could go with Saval. I do like Saval as well. Let's, uh, just swap her out for Welt. So, I think... I don't have any preservation characters yet, do I? Or do I? I don't know. I was told it was better to, you, to put those at the ends. But, um, anyway, confirm. Yeah, I don't think I have any preservation characters yet. Well, I don't... Oh no, March, March is. March is, right, okay. And she's, uh, yeah, that's fine. I think we'll go with, um, we'll go with this party. And see how we do. We're all level 30. We've all got good stuff. And uh, yeah, we really just need to get this story progressed so I can finally gain more Trailblaze levels. Uh, right. Let's go. You know, some, this is going to be a big boss here. We made it. Hmm. It's been so long. But this place hasn't changed one bit. It looks like there's a lot of stuff piled outside. Mm. Let's go see if there's any rubbing alcohol for Nat. Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting why we're here. Oh, look at this slide! You'll definitely need your tetanus shot after going on that, though. Um, Collect things. Uh, I want to know what's down here quickly. Okay, that's where we need to grab the materials. Hey, where are you going? Look around the orphanage first. I wanted to see if there was a chest down there, Zila. Zila. Fine. Okay. These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. No. No. Empty. Oh, they've been scavenged. How are they all empty? Who could have? Wasn't Eric, was it? Careful! Enemy behind you! Oh, hello. That's a big one. I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal. Oh. And there's fighting words, and we are into a fight. This thing doesn't look that ice out of space. That doesn't look too scary. That doesn't look too scary at all. Oh, we've inflicted slow as well. Nice. Okay, uh, I'm gonna slow down and slow down the battle speed. Right. Uh, I mean, we've nearly got ultimate with you, so I might as well go for a skill. Nice. Uh, it's not particularly weak to anything that I'm gonna do, but we'll do our ultimate anyway. Screw it. Rules are made to be broken. Give it a whack. That's some pretty good damage. The rest to me. Right, Welt. Let's see if you can inflict it with more slow. Time for a shot. Yeah, 440. Yeah, so. Welt definitely does more damage against slowed enemies because of his light cone, and Dan does more damage to slowed enemies with his ultimate, I think. Um, Alright, Natasha, yeah, just hit it. Just hit it. You're in bad shape. I feel I feel much safer having a healer on me right now. Um, and yeah, apparently Welt, with his ultimate, he can completely stop enemy turns. Like, say if they have two in a row, he can... If you use it after the first attack, he can stop the second attack. So I need to I need to keep an eye out for that. I can't say I'm I can't promise I'm gonna do that all the time. But um Right, let's go for another skill with Dan. 
And he's got his ultimate, so... This is gonna hurt you really badly because you're like double slowed. I assume that stacks. In an this thing's nearly dead. This thing's nearly dead. It's not it's difficult. It's gonna do. Oh my gosh, a thousand! That was tasty. <laughs> that was it. That was not the boss of this area. It was three against one. Oh, the three of us, not. I was going to say there's four people in the in the party, but uh, it wouldn't have been uh, so easy on your own, though. Oh please, you don't think I could do it? But still, fighting alongside you two was pretty fun. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Should be all clear now. Let's poke around. The kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here. If I remember it right, there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there. I just hope the monster didn't get to them. Mm. It wasn't my imagination. Huh? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? Oh. I've seen it all before. Yeah, she she was here. <laughs> what? Come on. The overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over ten years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. Yeah, what is the deal with that? Is she really, uh, bloody, um... I, I keep on forgetting her name. Co Cocolia? Cocolia, right? Cocolia. Wait, unless... It was definitely, it was definitely that. before that. It was definitely before that. In the before times. Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on. I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. Uh-huh. Okay. Right, can I go down here? Hey, where are you going? Let's look around the orphanage first. Okay. All right, Mum. I nearly run back down there again. Grab that. Grab... That. I found this. Here, take it. What is it? What is this? A brooch? Natasha would often teach us how to make different handicrafts. This must be some kid's masterpiece. How old is Natasha, by the way? Like, she doesn't look old enough to... <laughs> and why give it to me? She doesn't look much older than Sila. You gave your medal to that kid, Eric. This thing might not be as valuable but it's at least a replacement of sorts okay is this also is that just geo marrow growing out like what what is that growing out of the freaking steps but didn't someone work hard to make this i can't just take it from here Ugh, you sure are prissy huh just take it just take it if it ain't nailed down i'm taking it took a book as well right uh yeah how actually are we gonna get over here. Uh, I guess we just need to search a bit more around. Because I don't see... Yeah, it's completely blocked. Can I destroy it? No. Uh, there must be something else. Aha! Ugh, this swing is covered in dust. Hey, don't sit on it. It's filthy. <laughs> Gonna get a dusty bum. Sure brings back memories. I still remember one time I swung super high and everyone was scared I would fly off. Well, hopefully you'd fly off this way. I mean, the seats are facing this way. Because if they were facing that way, you'd be gone. See you later. Absolute making pavement pizza. Who knew swinging could be so intense? At the time, I wanted to swing myself into the sky and fly up to the overworld. Yeah, I don't think you'd manage that. I don't think you'd manage that. So dangerous. You're lucky to have lived till now. She is. <laughs> Aren't we all, though? Ah. Search the supply. Yeah, I'm still not finding anything. Oh, here we go. We've looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. It's... Ah! Yes! We found it! Great! It's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. I don't think anyone would. 
You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Yeah, then can we just drink it? Mm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? What is that? Is that a snow globe? The little bunny and an owl? This is... Oh, is this yours, Bronya? I bet it's hers. This is... Something from when I was a child. Yeah. When you were a child? Are you sure? I, I read that as, you were a child? <laughs> um, you came to this town as a child. Just a coincidence. Lots of kids probably have this toy. Possible. Uh, could it, could it be when you were a child? Yes. I remember now. Oh, she's Jason born in us. I, I used to live here. Before the architects took me away. Be, before Madame Cocolia adopted me. Mm hmm I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. Oh my gosh. Madame Cocolia is not her real mother. You're... an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then... So, I'm just going out on a limb here. It sounds like... Madame Cocolia lost her actual daughter and decided to adopt Bronya. I think. I could be way off on that. Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future, I will become the guardian who leads Bellabog. I think you'll do a great job. Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? My childhood memories are so blurry. I mean, yeah, I don't know what, what weird amnesiac crap is going on. Um, but I suppose not being here, you wouldn't get those memories triggered. Uh, Kokolia must have done something to make you forget. Well, maybe, maybe she was just too young. I don't know. No. Mother would never do that to me. There's no way she would. Really, though? Do, do you know her that well? The architect said that the Guardian successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. A few decades? During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the Overworld and the Underworld will be tested. In the end, only one child deemed as worthy will be chosen. I get, I get impatient waiting for me microwave pizza. I must have been chosen from among the children here and then taken to the surface. Crap. Hmm. Hmm. Let's think about this. The kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. Does Nat know about this? I wonder. Could she have been keeping it a secret? Well, you'd think she would have to know. Or at least have an inkling. I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost secrecy. And the child chosen must completely say goodbye to their past. Although I suppose if it's just if it just comes across as like a regular adoption, why would she know? Yeah. And thus I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. My only identity is that of Guardian Successor. I'm not good enough. No, you're great, Bronya. Every day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum, but I've never had the resolve to try to change Mother's mind. The Underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the successor? Hmm. Hey, are you done? Oh, but a bit more tough love coming. Huh? Well, well, well. So annoying. I. Uh, what? <laughs> what? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? 
You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week. Oh, sorry. <laughs> even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? Well, if you really want to protect everyone, what are you standing here crying for? Get to it! Tough love. You're right. You're right. Self-pity doesn't help solve anything. Thank you, Zila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. Never has anyone dared to be tough and make me snap out of it. Sometimes that's what you need. Sometimes that is what you need. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? Told you these are gonna be the besties, the bestest of besties. As the successor to the guardian of Balabog, I must always be vigilant of my behavior and thoughts. Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. Who thought it would be a good idea to put us together, huh? Right. How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memories from when I was little are crystal clear. Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. Yay! We're gonna run into a big boss though. There's def that enemy that we fought was not was not the no. I should let those two be alone for a bit. Oh. Are we actually gonna leave the only them? thing left to find is painkillers. I'll see if there's any nearby. It's so weird when I hear my character talk. Right, we got the rubbing alcohol. Uh, oh, we're actually gonna go down those stairs now. Okay. I should let those two be alone for a bit. Yeah, I know. The only thing left to find. Yeah. Okay. Is okay. okay. We'll go find the painkillers. I have a feeling it, we're gonna have to deal with quite a bit of pain first. Let's see. Oh, there's a kid. There's a kid. It's here. We found it. Thank you, Perkins. Perkins. Don't mention it, Clara. Clara's here. Uh-oh. That means Sparog might be. Warning. Warning. Danger detected. Is that Perkins? Uh, I mean no harm. I'm a gonna. <laughs> I mean no harm. Protect Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Oh, crud. Perkins, don't. Stop. I've seen this person before. He He's not bad. Right? I, I I don't know. I I you don't seem too bad. Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. Phew. This place is dangerous. You should leave. What are you doing here though? I'm looking for medicine to help the injured. Shouldn't you be the one leaving Missy? No, that's that's very condescending. I like a jacket. Oh, I came here for these painkillers too. Oh. Well, now we're gonna have to fight for the, you know, to the death over them. I'm sorry, Clara. There are a lot of people hurt at the Vagrant Camp. I guess the miners are no different? <sighs> if everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Ain't that the truth? Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Oh! Yeah, what's your relationship with Sparog? I know that's kind of random. Thank you for the medicine, but... Mr. Sparog, he... He's my family. I met Mr. Sparog when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. Okay. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Sparog doesn't trust any humans besides me. Especially everyone from Wildfire. Mm-hmm. Why did Svarag attack us? Probably because he doesn't trust us. Why did he want to get involved in the incident in the mines? He heard 
that the miners and vagrants had begun to engage in a large-scale conflict. He wanted to stop everyone from getting hurt fighting over the mines. Clara seems so nice. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground. But Mr. Sparrow wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. Hmm, he might be right. He might be right, but the underground is safer? There must be some error in his system. So he stands guard at the huge pillar stopping people from leaving? Yes. Mr. Sparag is very stubborn. Okay. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. Hmm. Fragmentum will swallow up all of the underground sooner or later. Sounds a lot like a Supreme Guardian. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Sparag, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Sparag won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Sparag. Hopefully one day he will finally listen. Good luck with that. Clara, what are you doing here? You're... Miss Sela from Wildfire. I came here to... I feel like we're about to be interrupted. Oh, you and Clara tell Sela and Bronya what you just discussed. Why are you helping the vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? I mean... I don't know if they actually made her do it. N no, it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp. So... I wanted to help them out. Clara is just the nicest. She really does need some shoes, though. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. Mm. Miss Sila, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then, can you give me some? The vagrant's injuries are quite serious. I see. Let's split these painkillers then. Aw, oh, well done, Sila. Well done. R really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Because Nat's awesome. Great. Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. Bronya's hair is so twirly. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And I have some more things I need to look for here first. What's that? Understood. Be careful, though. Okay. Special painkillers. Uh, meet up with Sila and the others. They're right there. Uh, first of all, can we open this? We did. Where's that going? To another... another area. Oh, no, that's just the other side of the gate. Oh, I see, we've just made a little shortcut. Gotcha, and there's a chest here. Nice. Yeah, I know, I need to I need to get this equilibrium level raised. Uh, and we're all healed up. Okay. Yeah, I have a feeling summit, summit's about to go down. It's not just going to be that one fight. Definitely not. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, painkillers. Great, that's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back. It won't, because I can teleport there. Are we really done? Ghost from the past. Or oh, another another record. 80 Jade, bloody hell. 80 bloody uh, Jade. Right. Um... Oh, I've got another guide thing. Oh, there we go. I completed that quest. Right, so now... Boom. Another fine fruit. And claim all those juicy rewards. Ooh, a new relic. New relic set. I'll have to see who, the, who that's good for. And now we're on to part four, which I can already claim because I've opened up 40 treasures at least. And I've leveled up characters... 
uh, character traces 12 times, apparently. Nice. Purchase one item in the world shop with a shield. I could do that very easily. Complete Trailblaze mission to rot or to burn. Clear memory stage of the Forgotten Hall. Well, we haven't even unlocked that yet, I don't think. Right. Can I... Let me just check. Did I... Have I done enough story to do... No, I still need to... I need to complete the story quest. Not good with farewells, right? Okay. Okay. So, let's... Give the supplies to Natasha. Nice and quick. I was I was certain we'd have a big old boss Where's fight there. Hi, Nat. Hi. Nat, we're back. <laughs> That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Tons of them. Confirm. Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. Huh. It's just, there are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? Uh, it's, a, it's a long story. Monsters had destroyed some of them. No, we shared some with Clara. I'm sure you'll be fine with that. Clara? Huh. If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. Yeah. <laughs> I think you made the right decision. <sighs> Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. I'm sure. I'm sure you can manage that, Nat. I'm sure you can do that. You're 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 just, you're, you're awesome. I, I love your ultimate animation so much. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. Oh yeah, we're actually gonna go to the mine now? I'd nearly forgotten about those two. So you guys aren't that close after all? I thought you were sworn friends. Uh. <laughs> oh, you're adorable, Branya. He was obviously joking. Totally, yeah. That old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. They probably won't. Ah, there we go. So this is where we would usually get Natasha as a character, but we've already got her, so we get an Eidolon. And Undying Starlight. <sighs> so, let's see huh? if we can tired equip... Already? I'm always tired. It's my secret captain. Natasha, let's get you... Well, first of all, recommended gear. Uh, what does that relic set do? Let's have a look. Increase outgoing healing. Oh, it's perfect for her then. Right. At the start of battle, immediately regenerates one skill point as well if we get the whole set on her. Okay, yeah, we have to... We have to give her those. We have to give her those. Um, that's cool. I like that. Give her all of those. Yes, more outgoing healing by 10%. And more defense as well. Some nice looking boots too. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get an extra skill point at the start of battle. Sweet. Okay. Eidolon's pharmacology expertise. Activate. With this strength, I can save more lives. After being attacked, if the current HP percentage is 30% or lower, heal self for one time to restore HP by an amount equal to 15% of max HP plus 400. That's a lot of numbers. That's a lot of numbers. This effect can only be triggered one time per battle. That's still good, though. That's still good if things get a little bit dicey. Right. Well, Natasha's definitely staying on my team now, then. Cool. Did I ascend her um, light cone? Oh, I haven't. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Let's get that leveled up. Bosh. Okay. Good stuff. 
aren't you? We didn't get any rest last night. You're gonna have to step it up, you know. My record is six days no shut eye. That ain't healthy. That that's not something you should brag about. All right, where is Oleg? Oh, up there. You know, gone the wrong way. Oh, I really want this episode to be nice and long, but I'm not gonna lie. I kinda need to go pee. Really bad. Uh, hey, they're finally back. Sorry for the unannounced disappearance. Don't worry, I'm completely unscathed. Uh, I wasn't worried about you. If you must know, I was wondering if Branya was okay. Sure, okay. Oh, please. You've barely sat still since they left. Oh, Dan calling you out, March. <laughs> well, it's good to have everyone back together. Let me get straight to it. He still he still doesn't move his mouth. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. Good. I'm glad I don't have to then. The last time I saw Kogolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian... All I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy. Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Okay, good. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner. <laughs> at least you're offering a road forwards. We underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now. And you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Uh -uh. Maybe it is. But I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. Mm. I still think Svarog is actually probably a good guy. <laughs> Let's go take him down. No, we need to find a way to bring him over to our side, even though I, I really don't think that's going to work. <laughs> he wouldn't understand. You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. That's not harsh. We should make preparations for both approaches. Of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means, but if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. Mm -hmm. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarok. Without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarog's robots don't fear sacrifice. And I don't want to risk underworld lives. Yeah, robots probably don't fear death. But things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Svarog. I may not have the full picture. But perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. But I fear that Svarog just isn't the swing type. <laughs> You'll understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly down here. And what about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarog. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, the Underworld is still a part of Bellabog. If Svarag's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. I feel like Wildfire and, and, and Svarag need to team up against Coco Melon. We really do. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarag. You're not coming? Wildfire's relationship with Svarag has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Okay. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. Alright, we're going to Svarag's lair. Oh, Sampo sent me a message. Oh, God. Let's have a quick read of this. In fact, Ju Julian? Oh, he must be one of the kids. Uh, Mage! Mage, my hero, I finally got a hold of you. You must save me. Sorry, your message could not be sent. Please try again later! Cool. 
Could not be sent. Does this even work? He fell for it. When you have a second, meet me at the Great Mine, my valuable patron. Every second matters. My life is in your hands now, friend. Oh, great. Accepted mission. What's that, then? Go to the Great Mine and ask Sampo what he wants. Uh, I mean, we are probably going there anyway. We might do that. But it is not really a main mission right now, so... I don't know. Got one more message from Julian. Let's have a look. I wonder what Sampo wants, though. Hello? Hello? Anyone? How do we use this thing? Send all. What's that supposed to mean? Who are you again? This is a money transfer function. Please transfer 200 credits. I'm going to say that. I'm going to be a dick. What? Someone actually replied? Uh, are you a real person or a bot? Anyhow, listen, I'm Julian, the Chief Intelligence Officer of the Moles. Oh, I need some help right now. If you're free, come find me at the entrance of the Great Mine. Everyone's wanting me to go there. That's a purple mission, though. Old Foreman's Treasure. That's our first companion mission. So, I feel like we will do these on camera, definitely. Uh, Hook is in trouble. So this is probably for Hook, then. I'm guessing. Right, we may not do that in this video, but we will do it at some point, I promise. Plus, the rewards are pretty good for it as well. Right, well, I'm absolutely bursting for the toilet, so I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. I have emptied my ballast tank. Uh, okay, oh, the relief. Oh my god. Last 20 minutes, I've just been like, dude, I really need to go. Let's, uh, let's go find the guide arranged by Wildfire. Uh, which is over this way. Ah, we're actually near the shop. Should I quickly... Oh, we've got another quest here as well, have we? Antonia, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Spit it out and stop bothering me. Ah, it's you again. The last time we met, I left in a hurry. I never got a chance to thank you. Oh, yeah, of course, I remember you now. I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Antonia, the developer responsible for the Great Mine and the supervisor of the mining uh, for the mining teams. As you saw in the mine, a lot of people in the underground count me uh, count on me to make a living. Uh, supervisors make a lot of money, right? You are quite direct. <laughs> Let's put it this way: everyone in the underworld is practically living on scraps. So compared to most of them, I have a decent life. The only thing that's worth anything in underground is geo marrow, which I happen to have a ton on hand. A ton of. Uh, by the way, I heard that you were working for Wildfire. I kind of, a kind of reminder for you. Oleg's crew takes care of their own, but their pockets aren't deep. Feel free to come to me when you have financial problems. Okay, I have some questions. Uh, I heard you've recruited some of the vagrants in the mining team. I heard the mine hasn't been peaceful lately. Do you have any recommendations? Do you have any recommendations? Oh yeah, I've done the fight club. Done the Fight Club. There is a restaurant. Food is good. Yeah, I've seen I've seen Gertie. Uh, there will be a rap concert. A rap concert where the vagrants are. What? Okay, that's all the questions I have right now. But I gotta go down there and take a look. What? I heard you were looking for me. Let's see. Oh yes, there is indeed something that uh, could use your help. An elderly minecart operator intends to retire, but he's not really hitting it off with his current apprentice. I guess you already know what I'm guessing at. If the apprentice can't complete his training, then the master won't be able to retire in peace. So I'd uh, ask you to be an assistant instructor for the not-so-bright apprentice. I don't know anything about minecarts. I don't even know how to lock them. Assistant instructor? Uh, I know nothing of mining carts. I know just the man for the job. His name is Sampo. Oh, I kind of want to say I'm saying that. No way, he'd bring nothing but trouble, you're probably right. Relax. Though the title is Assistant Instructor, it doesn't actually require much technical know-how. The senior minecart operator is very capable, but he has a bad temper and can be very stubborn. Things would be good if he had gifted, had a gifted apprentice to begin with, but that's sadly not the case right now, so please find a way to help him. What say you? Can you do me this favour? Uh, leave it to me. They usually stay at the Vagrant Shelter in the Mines. I've already told the Senior Mine co Operator about this. Uh, see him? Okay. That's another quest. Night on the Great Mine. We're probably not going to do that for a while. Uh, let's see if we can buy something. 
Are you the... Wait. Hang on. Is this the... Is this the world shop? It is. Right. We have quite a... Wow, I could buy a sh... <gasps> I could buy a Shadow of Destruction. Or some relic gear. Uh, not sure what they do. Oh, increase physical damage. Increase attack when you hit. That's not bad, actually. That would be worth getting. But um, I think I've got to go for... Well, there's some recipes here as well. Stone from the Everwinter Monument. I have no idea what that does, though. Field Generator. Shadow of Destruction raises uh, my Eidolon level. I think we've we've got to go for that. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Right, we could get some of these relics still. We have a few more. Could buy three of them. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna buy them. I have no idea if the if that's good or not. But I'm gonna buy the ones that I can afford anyway. Boom. So that's three pieces. We'll 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 get more shield soon anyway. Right. Uh, characters. My Dolans. I can get level three. Uh, when enemies. Here we go. Skill level plus two up to a maximum of level 15. Talent. Activate. Choice isn't as elusive as it seems. Skill level plus two up to a maximum of level 15. Talent level plus two. So is that just improving my skill and talent, I guess? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, relics now. Let's see. Hmm. To be honest... That's kind of similar. It's more crit damage, not as much... Okay, more break effect. I think I'm going to give that set to someone else, actually. I was going to give it to me, but I've already got a really good set. So... I think giving it to someone physical, like Dan, perhaps. Mm. That's more HP as well. Yeah, I'm just going to give these to Dan. Again, I'm not going to worry about, like, enhancing them right now. Whoops. Uh, give them give to Dan. Yeah. That's what we'll do for now. Okay. Got another Interastral Guide thing. Claim. More Trailblaze XP that I can't use right now. That's all right. And yeah, missions. We got we got a lot of missions to do now. Got a lot. Well, not a lot. There's like four, but still, uh, we will save these for now. I am definitely trying to progress this main story. Fate Atlas, by the way, available. Okay, this is just like a. Oh, I see. I see. Vessel of mediocrity. Oh, that's an, that must be another quest somewhere. Oh, okay, it actually lists all of the... Right. Yeah. Might end up doing these on a stream or something. Who knows? Okay. Let's go. To the Great Mine. Oh, hey. Hey, Hook. You the guide. Hook? You... Wasn't expecting. No, can't say I was either. So, the moles are a part of wildfire. Ah, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark, Hook the Great. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> you know, I think there's been a misunderstanding. Oh, is it Sampo? I will be your guide, friends, by order of Chief Ole. I don't know if I trust you, Sampo. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy, Sampo. Yeah, my old buddy. All right, all right, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Yeah. Why do we need you as a guide? Right? Uh, my specialty's in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is. 
But have they ever been inside? I'm guessing you have, because you're a sneaky boy. You've been inside? No. But I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. I didn't like the way he he phrased that. Uh, let's hope you can walk the talk. Let's hope you can walk the talk. Uh, Oleg put his trust in you. Clues for your own shady dealings, no doubt. Hey, that's not nice. Wildfire made a request and I got on with a job. My legacy will prove that Sempo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of... Oh, enough. Jeez, we <laughs> believe you, okay? Show us the way already. Great. Stay close. I do kind of like Sampo. Okay. Sampo, Ooh. are we there yet? Oh, this we is the robot settlement. Every other minute, Missy. Two more steps, just two more steps, and you're there. A little bit more than two more steps. I've just taken many, many. This is Farog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. Turns out it's pretty busy. Oh, it's definitely still cold. Have you seen it? Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? <laughs> no. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> If I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. I'm just trying to destroy things and pick up stuff. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Sparrow's a bad guy, you know. I don't think he's a bad guy. Ooh, destructive impulse. Another achievement. And a chest. And many, 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 many things to read. Getting more, uh, getting a lot of relics from these chests. Right. Guess I'm gonna have to open this up. But, let's have a look around town first. Hold still. You're nearly fixed. My design has been superseded by newer models. My components are no longer valuable. <laughs> Grouchy robot! I love you. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm not interested in selling your components. Alas, this place is a bit of a mixed bag. Plenty of characters. Keep your wits about you, friends. Don't let anyone deceive you. Does that include you, Sampo? We've had you for practice. <laughs> uh, you know, Missy, you sure know how to bear a grudge. Love it. March ain't giving him any any easy easy ride. Right, there's a chest there. I'm guessing we're gonna have to fight these robots at some point. They seem pretty chill. Eunice. 88 degrees bedrock. Yo, yo, listen up. This one's for all you pretend rappers. <gasps> it's the rap. Oh, of course, this is where the rap concert's gonna be. Internal combustion engine champion, 88 degrees bedrock. Repping the dawn of the underworld rap. Here's something to wake up your soul. Check it. Check it. Yeah. Light for real. Spitting fire rhymes. Amazing. Yoink. Don't mind me. Taking all the treasure. Yeah, I keep on getting... Uh, some people are saying that I should maybe save getting these chests for when I've got my equilibrium level. I, that's really hard to say. It's a good film, that, isn't it? Equilibrium with Christian Bale, Sean Bean. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But, like, it's just the way I would play it. I would just pick up the chests, just get stuff. How many chests are there here? Two of eight. Christ. What a heavy gate. Uh, okay, watch this. Open sesame! There's a thing right near it. Is that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. What, what about these clues of yours? Help us pry the gate up. What about these clues? 
I was just about to get into those before Miss March's colorful attempt. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this game. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. A uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. Sampo Bosky, really? A time out. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Svorog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Uh-huh. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Okay. Uh, spelling test or combat test? Do they give you a gachapon for the test? What's a gachapon? Is that something to do with Gacha? Is that a, is that a joke? Is that a meta joke? Not a clue. <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarug suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? I feel like you're not being very helpful, Sampo. It I feel like feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would yeah. be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. Don't take Svarag as an ordinary robot. He's uh, special. Okay, can I not just uh, like use this? Oh, I need. I actually need an item called certification. Okay, right. This has to be one of them, right? I would think so. It looks so lame. That's not very nice. Is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. I mean, it's definitely no Perkins. Beep, boop. <laughs> that scared me. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? I guess so. Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Ramp Tournament? Oh god, I don't know. Infernal Construction what now? How would we know anything about that? Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what did it say again? Oh my god. <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. We might just hit the jackpot. Okay. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the internal combustion engine wrap tournament? I mean, I'm just gonna say, because 88 degrees bedrock is the only one that I've met, so we're gonna just go with that one. Correct answer. Yes. Without us? <laughs> Love that gasp. Certification result. Success. Requisite certifications remaining. Two. Easy. Please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the... Uh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow. So this is the certification mark? Oh, is it like a stamp when you go into a club? Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move. Okay. Level 1 certification. Right, so, yeah. It's a good job we uh, we talked to you, innit? Should probably listen to some other people as well. No, no, no! You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. How do you know? Balloway from Miner's Lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interfaces when assembling relics. 
To make this thing move again, we need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating brake module. Otherwise, it's just a pile of scrap metal. Guessing that might be the answer to the next question. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. The last time he acted on his own advice, he electrocuted himself. You should be asking people with real smarts. No one is better at fixing machines than Marev. Marev? I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control hub to get a vibrating drill to work. Okay, this is this is way I'm in I'm in way over my head. <laughs> Marev? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. Last I heard he got scammed by someone selling counterfeit junk. Ah, you're just salty, my friend. Oh god. Maybe I should talk to you. I can't talk to you. Okay, robot number two. Beep, boop. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. <laughs> huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. This is giving me big GLaDOS vibes. You mean this? Here, look. Ta-da! Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Here comes your question. Listen up. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? Oh, God. Now, I'm pretty sure... I'm going to go with the logic control hub. I think that was the one that the guy said, but I, they were having an argument, so I don't know which one's correct. I'm going to go with that one. Huh? Lucky guess. Yes! Ugh, now I have to do this again. Put your hand out. What are you doing? Oh, I could have told March to do it. Sir, give me your hand. Oh, she's making her do it anyway. Huh? Me again? <laughs> it hurts, you know. <laughs> Ow. There, one step left. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Okay. Alright, that's level two. And the next one's around here. Now, I don't know what you're gonna want. I'm just gonna quickly see if I can chat to anyone else who might give us a clue. Obviously, I don't know what the question's gonna be yet, but... Um... Can I chat with anyone? Oh, hello. Did you hear? Those idiots got into a fight in the mine. <laughs> it only got settled after Boss Farag showed up. I said it before. Only Boss Farag can protect us down here. Everyone should follow his lead. Well, what do you think? Cat got your tongue? Do you ever talk about anything else? I'm so tired of hearing about Svarog. But, but it's true. What else is there to say? Take a look at all these good-for-nothings. They'd starve to death without him. Okay, I'm not sure if that's actually going to help me. Let's just go chat to the robot. Maybe we'll just get another lucky guess. Well, no. The, the first two questions, I think I used my brain power. We might have to just trial and error this. Beep, boop. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. Mm-hmm. Hmm, there's something wrong with this one. Oh. Protocol. Init nish, 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 nish. Initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. Restoration. Not encouraging. No, this is not promising. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. We have to fight this one, aren't we? Threat elimination activated. Initializing combat module. That's okay. That's fine. <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker! But if we destroy it, how's it gonna give us the certification? Because these things just like freaking explode, don't they? But hey, I'm all for another fight. Which we've, uh... We've seen these before, so I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Right, Dan, you go for you. So yeah, we start- we should be starting with an extra skill point. Good lord. Bosh. For some hardship. Bosh. There we go. <laughs> Learned how to behave now. 
Let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. Go on, March. You know what to do. Oh, why is it always me? <laughs> and give it a go okay right let's get into Svarog's lair I suppose this isn't the great mine is it where the heck's the great mine I've, I just I just realized we're not actually going to the great mine are we this is completely different confirm And we're in. See, not so bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I... Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. I don't really, I mean, other than telling us kind of what we had to do, you didn't really help, Sampo. I'll commend you to the Chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Svarog. Let's get in there. Dude, did anyone hear what I just said? <laughs> in we go. Oh, what does this do? Lift control panel. Not authorized to use the lift. God damn it. Uh, All right, well, we got a space wanker. Whoa. Why is there another gate here? Yeah, they weren't kidding with the security. Oh, gosh, yeah, this place is going to be huge, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Right, well, I think that's probably enough story for this episode. We're going to obviously continue on from here next time. But let's go do... Um, well, first of all, claim my achievement. I think we'll do a quick uh, simulated universe run, just to see how that goes. Uh, how much jade do I have now? I must, have, I must have enough now for another pass or two. Yes, I do. Boom. Confirm. So that's 19 now we have, I think. Right. Yeah, let's do... Simulated Universe to finish off the video. So if, you don't, if you're not interested in this, uh, have a nice life. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, so... World 1 still is the only one we have access to. Uh, so we've, we've already done the first time thing, so we're just going to see what we get, I suppose. Download initial characters. Uh, I think we'll stick with this. Ooh, actually. That's putting Tingyun in. Uh, I really, I am tempted to try you. You're only level one, but... Uh... Yeah, you know what? Just because we've not seen her, we're going to try her out. I haven't leveled her, though, at all. I don't even think she's got any equipment on her. But, um, let's do it anyway. Launch the simulated universe. Okay, so, apparently, if I press... Uh... There should be a way of, like, seeing more what these actually... Oh, wait. This is pretty self-explanatory anyway. Uh, let's go for... A one-star blessing to start off. Right, so, yeah, if I press options, that'll give me... Oh, it was already on anyway. Oh, this is a bit more... Right, this gives me more, more detail. Okay. Increase crit rate, follow-up attacks... I'm not using the follow-up attacks right now. We'll just grab this one. Okay, right. So, yeah, this is going to be, like, random every time, isn't it? I wonder what occurrences we're going to get. Let's see. Oh, actually, can I... Ugh! No, I can't change my character's stuff, can I, while, when I'm in this? That's, that's fair enough, I suppose. Ooh. Wow. Already gone. Already gone. Right, 
let's see. After character increased crit damage of shielded characters, when a character applies freeze to an enemy, the game's a shield. Yeah, none of these are particularly good, but we'll grab this one because we haven't got it before, I don't think. I think that's how that works. Bosh. Bosh. Maybe I should be using my energy, getting some buffs, but again, I don't really feel like we need it too much. Okay, locking onto Welt, are we? Got an ultimate. Not going to use that right now. Boom. Got two ultimates ready. Uh, increase the weakness break effect of follow-up attacks by 35%. A lot of follow-up attack stuff that we're getting here, but um, we'll just confirm this one. Grab that one. Okay. Let's have a look at you. So I don't even know what your um, your skill does. Can't go in any of the other doors. Ah, you are weak to quantum. Right. Uh, I probably should just ultimate, shouldn't I? In fact, we'll do that with you first. Rules are made to be broken. And one with the down as well. Break. Oh my god. Okay, did not expect that. Right. Yeah, so I'm guessing the, the little icon in the top right means that we've already got them. Is that correct? I think so. Yeah, index, index locked. Index locked? Or maybe we we don't have them? Maybe I've got it the other way around? I'm not sure. Increase crit rate for shield characters. Da, 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 da. Characters affect hit rate increased by 60%. Go for that. Yeah, maybe I got it the other way around. I don't actually know. Domain elite. How, let's have a look at the map here. So, ooh, we got quite a ways to go. Quite a ways to go. Careful. There is evil ahead. There certainly is. Spirit be gone. Yeah, that wasn't weak to that, was it? Move carefully. Okay, right. Let's go for Well. See. I would like to inflict slow on it because we'll do more damage with our ultimate Don't when hesitate. we do. When it is slowed, but we get more energy back if I use my ultimate first and then use the skill. I'm just going to go for the skill first and see if we can inflict slow on it. Which we did. Okay. The truth of life now we ultimate, we should do a ton of damage. Nice. Right, I really want to build up her energy. Oh, she's gaining karma as well, of course, because we're uh, reducing the toughness. It's time. Crit. Right, let's see what your skill can do. Ooh. Okay, not much damage. Not much damage at all. But of course, she is very, very not equipped at all. Never heard of it. Uh, yeah, go for that. Broken and dead. Ooh, three stars. Let's have a look. After character launches an attack, deals quake damage to 100% of the current shield. I don't have shield on me right now. After an enemy's attacked six times, they have 100% base chance to become frozen. Okay, let's go for that one. Yeah, I really like this mode. Hi, Herter. Right. Downloader. So, let's grab... Because, I mean... I I thought you can only use four characters at a time, but maybe in this mode, if one dies, you can bring in another one. In that, if that's the case, let's bring in... Um, let's bring in Natasha. Confirm. Natasha's joined the team. So, yeah, can I, like, swap her in? 
I don't know. I don't know how this works. Right. Can I buy anything? To surprise, you run into a physical hurter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cosmic fragments, I know, I know, I know. Uh, purchase a one-star blessing. Purchase a random... Enhance, enhance two random blessings. Let's just purchase a one-star. Uh... After the characters launch a follow-up attack. God damn it. I feel like I should have had March on my team. Characters gain... I'll just grab that. I'll grab that one. Whatever. Combat. Spirit be gone. Ooh, this is going to be good. This is going to be a good start. Although she is getting quite weak. Ooh, it's look at that toughness. To Dan is a freaking beast right now. About this? Yeah, we're quite... I feel like we're very over-leveled for this particular... Uh... Ah, okay, here we go. Upon entering battle, characters gain a shield. Yes. Right. You're not weak to you, so let's go for... Let's go for Dan. This will strengthen our position. Oh, we might as well. Step aside. Yeah, I feel like, I again, no it's probably better to... Cut. I mean, he's probably gonna die anyway, but... The fact that we can inflict slot. Look at that. That's so cool when you pause it like that. He's nearly he's dead anyway. Okay, he's dead anyway. Kind of wasted that ultimate though. In an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Dude. Dan is just an absolute monster right now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Upon entering battle, 150% base chance for all enemies to become frozen. Yes. I like the sound of that. This will strengthen our position. Get wrecked. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, you recovered immediately. Okay. Not that it's going to help you much. Okay. I could use my ultimate, but they're probably dead anyway. It really doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. Yep. Do, 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 do. Uh, da, 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 da. Increase crit damage. Oh, we got an occurrence. We've got an occurrence. What's it going to be? You encounter a doll whose body is three times as tall as its head. It has straw-like hair made of ropes and counter, and a counter on its stomach. A half stuffed toy. You open its manual, which re which reads, "This is a doll to vent extreme emotions on, made by Aha in their own likeness. They wish to see themselves beaten up. The worse the beating is, the happier they will get, and the more gold coins they will award you." Note: Aha is not involved in the quality control process. <laughs> what? Um, I won't have a hard looking down on me. This won't break it, at least. Pat it lightly, hit it hard. Let's hit it hard. It does not react, and the number on the counter remains unchanged. You suck! Okay, pat it lightly. Oh, 400 cosmic fragments, bloody hell. Going up until it stops at 400. Destruction is crazy and the preservation is dumb. All the eons are stubborn and the high is embarrassed. Okay. Right. That was fun. Can't wait to see more of those. Right. Uh, downloader, which doesn't seem to have loaded in properly. Let's grab. Let's get. Let's take March out. Whatever. Uh. Yeah, like I don't 
Can we actually... Oh, wait. Team setup. I don't think I can do that right now, can I? Oh, I can. I can actually do that. Oh, I see. Right. I bet you guys were screaming at me. So, I could... Could put Natasha on. I really want to see her ultimate though. Whoever I can't pronounce her name. Julie. I'm just gonna call her Julie. Right. Let's spend these points because uh, yeah, we're nearly done. What can we buy? Uh, or enhance, I should say. Let's enhance that one. Let's enhance that one. Mm, can only uh, only enhance them once. Okay. Crit damage. Crit rate. really need that one, but whatever. Uh, okay. Right, that's it. That's as many as we can spend, I think. Let's go. Boss time. That enemy certainly isn't friendly. This will our position. Welt. Stay. Impair. Okay. Right, I think we've we probably could have debuffed it a bit more there, but... Move right, imprisoned. Carefully. Oh, he's got two friends. He's, oh, there's two of them. Right. And we could ultimate, so we might as well do that. Uh, rules are made to be broken! You got stage, you're welcome! Ooh, that was good. Hit you. Please inflict slow. That'd be great. No slow that time. Uh, let's save. Skill point. Do, 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 do. Right. Mm. Yeah, sadly, none of you are weak to imaginary. Your body and mind. Nearly got my ultimate. Right. Blast on really matter, I suppose. Ah, we've got our ultimate. Should we just do it? Just to see it for the first time? The order of the Ten Lords. I have no idea what that said. Uh, it's a single targeting one, so let's go for... You're weaker. Let's go for you. Ooh! Oh! Holy shit! Oh, ah, if I was quicker, if I was quicker, I could have used his ultimate. We'll save that for now. Or maybe I should just use it now. Now I think I, I think I'll wait. I'll wait. Oh, that's a bit of a waste. Oh, her attack then was crazy. If I if I level her up, she could be really good. Who knows? Yeah, go for it, Dan. Go for it. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. Okay. Let's make it quick. And I love how how simple this combat is, but there's so much depth to it. All right. I need I need skill points. Leave the rest to me. Uh. Da -da 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 -da. Let's try. I should really, I should really use the ultimate. Let's do it. Know nothing of the weight behind we'll we'll inflict imprisonment on him, right? Because so that's still going to benefit us. You. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Nice. Okay. Uh. Oh, we'll use.
use her skill, I think, even though it's not as good. Sorry, I, I'm probably saying things that don't make any sense, but they make sense to me. Right, blast. You're broken. It's too late to repent. Mm. That one's gonna get a hit out. That's okay. Okay, that one on the right's nearly gone. Not a problem. Not a problem. That's absolutely fine. And we've frozen him again. Excellent. Uh, go for another... Another blast on... Uh, you. It's going to attack both of them anyway. Or at least hit both of them. Oh, you're nearly gone. You're nearly gone. It'll take more than that. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. All right, I think this is probably going to kill you, buddy. Yes. Better up. No amnesty. Oh, so she does do follow-up attacks. Right, hang on. Let's have a look at her abilities again, because... Oh, it's the karma, isn't it? It's the karma that's building up. That's what's happening, I, f I remember now. Yeah, I think so. I think so. She hasn't even got a light cone. Like, she is not equipped, but... Um... The most of them reduce the more damage it'll do. Right, yeah. Karma. That's what it is. Yep. Cool. I think, um... I think having a, f a full team of, like, follow-up attackers would be really interesting. Like Himiko and March. Um... I won't go easy on you. Oh, we inflicted slow. Sweet. <laughs> and we've frozen it. Not for long. Never heard of it. All right, Dan. You might be able to get your ultimate here. Yes, and it's slowed, so this is going to easily kill it. The truth of life in this is going to easily kill it. This oh, beautiful. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. All right. Our second complete run of the Simulator Universe. And we get 800 points for that. Right, so, how do we claim these? Right, claim all. Boom. 40 Jade. 50,000 credits. Bloody hell. Yeah. Definitely, definitely gonna do, uh, want to do more and more of those. Index. Occurrence. Yep, we saw that, so another 20 Jade, good lord. This is a very, very generous mode. But, my friends, I think that is where we are going to leave it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Next time, more story. Hopefully we can, uh... Ooh, hello. Find our way to Sfarog. Uh... Complete Simulated Universe, 800 points. Boom! Level 13! And a bunch more thingamadoobries credits. Right, cool. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that episode, chaps. I uh, hope you enjoyed it being a little bit longer. And uh, thanks for continuing to support this series. It means so freaking much to me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye uh, for now. <laughs>